Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Monday, January 6th, and today I'm going to be filming a keto what I eat in a day vlog. This morning, like always, I start out my day by just doing some work on the computer. I had a video to get edited and uploaded, and then I threw on some makeup. Now here we are, ready to actually get our day started. I made a to-do list this morning, and there's a couple of things I need to get done today. There's a couple of errands I need to run. I need to take the dogs to the dog park, and I need to go to the grocery store and load up on groceries for the week. I spent a little while making a meal list, so I will show you that here shortly. But for now, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Their favorite part of going to the park is letting them run there. You ready, Bo? Go, Bo, go, go. There goes Bo. And go, Cooper, go. Go, Cooper, go. <laughs> Look at this happy little nugget. I decided to bring them out to the park so that they could run off a little energy before I run out and go get some errands run. But just look at that little nub. It is going 90 to nothing. What a cute little baby right here, little Bobo. Look at this plane flying over. This is like the third or fourth time. Look at the dogs watching it. They're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> For breakfast this morning, I am just going really, really simple. I'm not that hungry this morning, surprisingly, but I know I'm gonna get hungry. I have one of these Real Good Foods bacon breakfast sandwiches. The bread, or not so much bread, is made out of cauliflower and cheese. And I like to microwave them and then pop them in the toaster oven. And they come out tasting pretty good. I like to keep these on hand just so I have something to grab and go for breakfast if I ever need it. I just finished making my meal plan for the week. I am doing this in my Erin Condren meal planner. I'll link this down below if you want to check it out. But here we go. We've got my grocery list over here, my meal prep strategy, and I basically planned out the dinners for the week. Not so much anything else because I really don't know. But dinners is usually the meal that I actually cook food and want like a nice meal. So I planned out my meals. Like I mentioned in an earlier video, I am trying to get some of the stuff out of our freezer. So I kind of made a plan. I went through my freezer, figured out what I want to thaw this week. So I'm gonna have a pork butt that I'm thawing, some steaks, and a big snapper on the half shell. So basically, a big piece of red snapper, which is a fish, and it's got the scales on one side, so that's why it's called on the half shell. Over here is my meal for the week. Mayo Parmesan chicken, pork butt in the crock pot, zoodle spaghetti, red snapper, and steak. And basically what I did was I went through, listed out what I needed, and what I needed to pick up at the grocery store. So that is my little meal prep for the week. I'm gonna bring this with me to the grocery store, and we're gonna head out to run errands here shortly. I'm about to leave these cute little puppuccinos who Bo is over here eating Cooper's food. Sir, you can't do that. Please stop. Anyways, I'm about to leave the house and go run some errands, but I wanna pick up some coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Well, Dunkin' Donuts, first of all, doesn't have heavy whipping cream, and they don't have stevia. Since I know I want Dunkin', and I'm probably gonna go there first when I head out, I just poured a little bit of heavy whipping cream into a little container so I can add that to my coffee, and I'm gonna pack some liquid stevia so I can sweeten it. I'm a little crazy, but it'll allow me to have a keto-friendly Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Hi, could I do a medium um, iced coffee with the unsweetened hazelnut and no other sweetener or cream. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so I got my unsweetened iced coffee from Duncan. First off, let's pour in some heavy cream. Now I'm gonna do my squirt of stevia. And y'all, we're good to go. We got us a keto iced coffee. Perfect. Are we gonna get the lid on one-handed? There we go, woo! All right, got me a coffee. 
There's another one of those military planes circling. They must just be running some drills today because they've gone by about a hundred times. Anyways, I'm at PetSmart about to run inside and grab the dogs some toys. I wanted to come in here so I could pick up some of these Kong dog toys because you can stuff them with treats and it just gives them some good mental stimulation when you leave the house or have to leave them alone or whatever. So I'm going to grab two of these. I was going to go check my P.O. box, but for some reason, the traffic is absolutely horrendous today. And I don't want to go, you know, a little bit across town and get stuck for 30 minutes just trying to get over there. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. Anyways, it is time to go into Publix right here, the grocery store, and do a big old grocery haul. I have a ton of stuff on my list. So it's time to grab my little Erin Condren meal planning notebook and let's go grocery shopping. One eternity later. I am home from the grocery store and I'm going to do a quick little grocery haul of everything I picked up. So we're going to start over here with all the veggies. So I got some of these baby potatoes because I want to try a recipe with those to make for Cody. I got a lemon a yellow onion, a white onion, some yellow squash, zucchini or a zucchini, asparagus. Are you in my purse, Cooper? You are pulling stuff out of my purse. Give me my car keys, bad dog. Really? No. No, get out of there. Cooper. God, don't you want a puppy? Aren't they so much fun? Anyways, back to where I was. I have some asparagus, broccoli florets, heavy cream, eggs. I just needed to replenish those. A couple of different types of cheese, parmesan, some sharp cheddar, and some Asiago. I'm going to make mashed cauliflower and put this Asiago cheese in it. A couple of different types of seasoning, some Old Bay blackened seasoning, garlic and herb, and some mesquite rub. Liquid stevia. Two bags of frozen cauliflower florets. Boneless chicken cutlets. I'm going to use this for dinner tonight. A package of frozen meatballs. Deli meat for Bo so I can give him his copious amounts of medicine he is still on. And then everything over here is what I picked up to stuff in the dog's new toys. I got Cheerios, white rice, canned pumpkin and peanut butter and you want to make sure the peanut butter is 100 percent peanuts and especially always make sure there is no xylitol in anything you give your dogs because a very minute amount will kill them there we go that is my grocery haul i'm about to go put all of this in the fridge i just stuffed these with pure pumpkin and some cheerios so i guess we're gonna see if the dogs like their new kongs Mmm, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for your treat? Y'all ready? I think y'all are. Guess what time it is, y'all? It's dinner time. I am fixing to start dinner, and it's going to be a very delicious dinner, but it's going to take very limited work to make it. What I'm going to make is mayo parmesan chicken, boiled broccoli, and cheesy garlic bread, I guess you could say. It's not really bread, but it tastes really, really good. It's like three or four ingredients for everything I'm making, and I should be able to throw it together in probably under 10 minutes, and then it just has to cook. So we're gonna start off by making the chicken. Let's go. First things first, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. For this recipe, you're gonna need some thin sliced chicken breasts. I had planned on buying some whole chicken breasts and just pounding them down with a meat mallet, but when I saw these, I decided to take the easy way out and just buy them pre-sliced thinly. So what we're gonna do is open our chicken up. If you have the breasts, just throw a piece of plastic wrap over the top and pound them down until they're a nice like half an inch thick or so. You want them kind of thin because you don't want to have to cook the chicken forever. You're going to grab a bowl and throw your chicken breasts into it. Up next, you're going to take a couple big scoops of mayo and throw it right on top of the chicken breasts. Now I'm just going to make sure every chicken breast is coated with mayo. 
on both sides. Once I coated the chicken breast evenly in mayo, I laid them out on a wire rack on top of a cookie sheet. Alternatively, you can place them directly on the cookie sheet, but I hate it when my chicken is cooking in juice because I feel like it gets soggy. I prefer like a crispiness to my chicken, so I cook mine on a wire rack. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to the chicken and a little bit of garlic powder. Now finally, we're gonna to top each breast with some shredded Parmesan cheese. Now the mayo Parmesan chicken is ready to go in the oven. Since these breasts are so thin, I'm gonna start off by cooking for about 15 minutes and just keeping an eye on how long it takes to actually cook. The cheesy bread is really, really quick and easy. Add about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese into a bowl. Add about one cup of mozzarella cheese. Now crack in one egg. Now I'm gonna add in a little garlic powder and some salt. And now you just mix this all together until the egg has covered all of the cheese. Normally I would add some jalapenos into this, but it turns out I am out and I am devastated because jalapenos just make this so much better. And now I'm just gonna dump the cheese mixture into this pan. And now I'm just gonna use my hands and kind of flatten it out. Now I'm just gonna pop this into a 350 degree oven with the chicken breasts and it's basically cooked when the cheese starts to turn golden brown. Now that we have the chicken and the cheesy bread in the oven, I am going to put the broccoli on to boil. Basically, what I always do, turn it up to high until it starts to boil, then turn it down to a medium high heat and let it simmer pretty much until everything in the oven is ready. All right guys, dinner is ready. The chicken is perfectly cooked. The cheesy bread is ready to be sliced up and the broccoli is boiled. Yeah, dinner's gonna be really good. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, you look so excited. Cody gave the chicken two thumbs up and now it's time for me to give it a try. Hey guys, it's the next morning now and I know I am looking like a million bucks right now. I totally just rolled out of bed. <laughs> Anyways, I flat out forgot to film an outro last night. Oops. But I wanted to come on here and tell y'all you have got to try that mayo parmesan chicken. Cody was raving about it. It was so good. He was like, I think this is the best chicken you've ever made. I'm like, literally I put mayo and cheese on it. And he's like, it's the most moist, delicious chicken. So you have got to try it because it was very, very good, I must say. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.